Hi, my name is Jan Tabor, and I'm a seventh grade teacher here at Proximity Learning. And I'm here to show you some equipment that you can purchase on Amazon for not that much money and use them every day in your science classroom. So basically, um, I'm looking at equipment that you can use to collect data. And so some of the things that I already had at my fingertips at home were a ruler, a meter stick, string, thermometer, magnifying glass, okay? Some of these things, again, I already had available at my fingertips. But some of the equipment that I needed to get a hold of were as follows. The first thing I decided to purchase was this graduated cylinder. It's glass. It is awesome. It goes up to 100 milliliters. You can use it to measure liquids. You can use it to show the displacement method when you're using or studying density. And it was only $8.99. Okay, total deal. Next, um, what I purchased this year was this um, digital scale. And I absolutely love this little digital scale. It's about this big, okay? And um, it does come with batteries and it does, um, it lights up kind of this blue, as you can see. And it also comes with this little tray if you wanted to put something in there to measure. Um, so if you were, again, were doing anything with density or you wanted to mass something, or if you were blowing up a balloon and trying to show kids that, um, that air had mass and you wanted them to, to learn to provide evidence for that, this is a great tool for this. And again, it measures in ounces. It also measures in grams. And it also uses the tear method, which is, which is perfect, okay? So um, that was only $16, okay? That's, so that was a pretty good deal as well. Then um, I had also purchased this this year, which was um, basically a countertop burner. And I use this for science experiments if I'm boiling water, if I wanted to show how, um, uh, how gases rise, I could use a balloon, I could, you know, attach that to um, some type of beaker or some type of bottle to show that the balloon would inflate. Um, so lots of air pressure um, experiments. You could do the crush can using this one. And so um, that was only $20.99. Not bad. And it does, just to let you know, it does have a, um, a max. So it goes from one all the way to five, which was its max. Um, so I have used this quite a bit as well. And finally, um, let me just show you some thing that I purchased and I'm showing you all of the really cool things it does. But this is a, um, a basically, this is a microscope that I bought. Now it's a little, it was a little bit more expensive, but I taught mainly life science and a little bit of physical science towards the end of the year. And I absolutely love this. I have used microscopes um, in, in my classroom for 25 years in a brick and mortar classroom. And this was just as good. And it was only $89. Um, so you can see it's kind of, that's how large it is. Okay, it's, it's a little bit smaller than I was used to using. But the neat thing is it does come with the three objective lenses. It does come with different eyepiece, uh, eyepieces and um, uh, the, this, the, um, the, the stage does move up and down, okay, you, using the fine adjustment knob or the adjustment knob and the fine adjustment knob to get that really into focus. And um, it does um, plug in the light. It does have an LED light that goes through for you to see. So there's no mirrors or anything like that. And um, finally, it does come with um, a little container of different slides that you can use. So the neat thing about this that most of you may or may not know is that you can take your camera on your phone and you can you can take your camera, turn this on, and you can put your camera right up to the eyepiece and you can take pictures which is really cool because how are also the kids going to see it, right? So um, I've included a few pictures of what my students were able to see that I was able to take pictures of, okay? So this first one was, um, a, it was like, a, it was a cloth and it had some, it was a cotton cloth and I just showed the edges of it. 
a piece of hair. Okay. Um, this was an onion. Okay. So what I did is I took an onion. I did use a drop of iodine. You can see the cell walls. You can see the cells. You can see the a little bit of the cell membrane. Some of the nucleus you can see, which is very cool. Um, here's a, this was a, a, a picture that I took of, um, I believe this was, um, I believe this was an onion cell too, but I used a different colored dye on this one. Okay. You can see on this one, um, some of the chloroplasts, if you look very carefully, um, this was, uh, the bottom of a leaf. So this is the lower epidermis. And so you could see, um, some of the plant cells there. This was actually a grape. So if you pulled off the skin of the grape, I put it underneath the microscope, the kids loved this one. Um, this was just a magnification of the onion cell, okay? And uh, finally, I had, I didn't create this myself, but I had a, a slide that um, my veterinarian gave of my dog's blood cells. And so I was able to show kids uh, a picture of this it was not real blood cells, but uh, one that my dog had um, had a little sample of, and the veterinarian gave it to me. So I've kept it for years and years and years, but it worked really well underneath the microscope. So again, these were just a few things, a few simple things that you can buy just to make science come alive in the classroom. And I hope that was helpful for you. Have a great day.